Good morning, everyone. Please rise. Please turn your hymn book to page 30 to 31. Today we will sing hymn number 12, Majesty. Let's sing the hymn once. Jesus is the King of all kings. We should exalt and lift his name up on high. Let's worship his majesty by singing to him once with all our hearts. to page 9 and refer to item number 23. Today's scripture is taken from Psalm, chapter 99, verse 9. Please listen to God's word. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalms, chapter 99, verse 9. Let's read it together. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for supplying every need of ours according to your glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, teach us to share your riches to our neighbor and love them as we love ourselves. Please give us wisdom to prepare for our first term examination. Protect us from the cold weather. Bless today's heart assembly and lessons. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> and uh, one thing, my request on you, and uh, in your daily prayers, remember to keep a little boy of Form 1 Yi. He got an accident yesterday after school. He is still now in hospital. His leg might be broken. I'm not sure yet. I have to call his dad later. Um, and so pray for him, okay? The condition might be kind of serious. And so whenever you um, leave the school, cross the road, be very careful, okay? And uh, really pay attention. Um, you know, the traffic may not be that uh, clear. 
uh, according to some reports, kind of report, um, you know, the coach, the minibus, might have uh, blocked his view. And so when he crossed the road, he tried to cross the road without really paying attention to the taxi, which is coming, which was coming very close to him, and so lock him, lock him down. And I think, um, anyway, be more careful whenever you leave the school, okay? Thank you. Thank you for your kind attention. Good morning, Principal, Vice and Assistant Principals, Teachers and Fellows. We are the Deputy Head Professor this year. I'm Kitty Chen from 5B. I'm Edward Tam from 5D. The exam will be held very soon from the 9th to the 21st of January. This morning, we would like to take this opportunity to remind all of you several important points about the examination regulations. Before we start our presentation, may we invite our Principal Vice and Assistant Principals to proceed to the auditorium to enjoy the show. Now, let's enjoy the video clips.
会搭的。哎
uh, <coughs> uh, due to some technical problem, please wait for several minutes before we start our presentation. Good morning, everybody. While we are waiting, today, later today, the school uh, school administration will distribute, issue uh, a circular to your parents and also to all of you. The circular is on campus um, campus development projects of the school. As you know, uh, we are exploring every means to enhance the facilities of the school for use for teaching and learning. And so. Uh, I think uh, more than a year ago, there has been consultation on how we are going to proceed with the campus development project. And now we have come out with a kind of resolution. And uh, of course, we are going to have a school hall for five from six. You may not be able to wait, okay, before your graduation. But for the uh, form one, form two, form three, hope that they can use the school hall of the secondary section. As you know, this school hall, uh, uh, for property rights, it belongs to the primary section. But anyway, all the three schools, primary, secondary, and kindergarten, we are all using this school hall. When we have a new school hall, again, for the new school hall, it, is, it will also be used by all the three schools. And uh, besides the new school hall, there is an other building, one more building on campus. And the circular is about the campus development project. The campus development project. And uh, we are going to have consultation. Consultation to solicit your views. Views of students and also views of parents, alumni, and also those related to Munson College or not related to Munson College. Since the first term examination is coming, we may not be able to conduct a forum solely for the students because you have to prepare for the examination. And so, invite your parents, okay? Tell your parents, inform them to come. The first consultation will be next Tuesday, 7 to 9 o'clock in the evening, okay? so that your parents, after work, they can come to the school for the consultation next Tuesday, 13th of January, from 7 to 9. And the other one, the next one, the second one, you can come, is on the 24th, 24th of January, is a Saturday. A Saturday. I think it's from 2.30, right? 2 or 2.30, you refer to the circular. It will be distributed to you later today. And so, that's all for my... Uh, for what I'm going to say. Remember, for the campus development, even though you may not be able to use them, but after graduation, you are an alumnus or alumna of Munsen College. Uh, it is your alma mater. It's, you should show your concern to your school as well, okay, to your alma mater as well. Thank you, back, my back to you. Before the examination, you should empty your drawer. Also, you should read the examination timetable and the seating arrangement carefully. The seating arrangements of the examination will be posted on the AAC notice board. You are strongly advised to refer to the information before the examination. You can also download the examination timetable and the seating arrangement from our school homepage, as shown here. You should all proceed to the examination center at least 15 minutes before the starting time of the exam. Please be reminded that late candidates will not be given extra time to compensate for the time loss. If you arrived at the examination center 30 minutes after the starting time, you should report to the general office. In case of illness, Please notify the general office by phone between 7 sorry, 7.45 and 8.15 a.m. Besides, parents' letter and relevant documentary evidence, including medical certificates, should be submitted to the head of academic affairs committee, Ms. Ting Man Sok, on the first day when she returned to school. Moreover, you should always remember to bring your student ID card and your student and parents' handbook. Don't forget to bring your calculator as well 
if calculation is required in your examination subject. More importantly, you should remember to bring your stationery as no borrowing will be allowed after the commencement of the examination and you should expect no help from the invigilator. As for your calculator, please make sure that it has been pack printed with HKEAA approved or HKEA approved label. You should put the jacket or cover of your calculator in your bag. Before the commencement of the examination, place the stationery you need on the desk. Please put your pencil case in your bag. Remember to zip up your bag before putting it under your chair. Then, please take out your student and parent handbook and your student ID card for temperature record checking. Please be reminded that you should bring your student and parent handbook every day with temperature record being filled in properly on the last few pages of your handbook. You should maintain absolute silence once you enter the examination center. Also, please check carefully that no unauthorized materials such as notebooks are present on your desk or in your pockets. You should ensure that no sound will be emitted from any device you brought in, including watches. You are strongly advised to turn them off and put them in your bag or under your chair. To avoid suspected cheating, firstly, if you want to take anything out from your bag, you must raise your hand and ask for permission from the invigilator. Secondly, do not look around during the examination. Thirdly, do not speak to other candidates or talk to them during the examination. Fourthly, you must, turn, you must not turn over the pages of the question paper and must not start working until you are instructed by the invigilator to do so. Besides, whenever you hear the announcement, time is up, put down your pens. You should stop writing immediately. You will only be allowed to write your personal information, including your full name, class and class number after you may now start or before time is up announcements. Please remember to complete the boxes as well if MC answer sheets is provided. For oral exam, you should remain quiet while you are in the waiting room and queuing outside the exam room. If you are late, you are required to report to the waiting room. Otherwise, it will be counted as truancy or absence. After the examination, please remain quiet until the dismissal announcement has been made. Leave the examination room and proceed to the corridor outside the classroom immediately after the dismissal. Lastly, please be considerate and do not disturb other candidates as they may be waiting for their turns. Once again, no cheating is allowed and please inform the teachers if you discover any cases of cheating or suspected cheating. Cheating is always a serious offence, one major demerit and disqualification of the subject paper will be the result if cheating is found. For any inquiries, please refer to the examination regulations printed on the student and parent handbook or consult the discipline teachers directly. Hope you are all well prepared and strike for excellence in your exams. More importantly, Please follow the instructions and raise your hand to ask questions if you have any queries during the exam. Here comes to the end of our presentation. Wish you all the best. Thank you. May we now pass the mic to um, Mr. M Mr. Mark for dismissal. Well, I got the same idea, Ms. Chen. Esther, do us a favor. Well, this is the last assembly of Form 6 students. Shall we sing our school song? No, you want to go back to your classroom? Okay, they want to go back to your classroom, Ms. Chen. So what? what? <laughs> okay, now I would like to invite Eva. Eva, where are you? Eva Leung and all the committee members of the Form Association, please come up to the stage to lead a school song. They need your support.
唔好閪，你上面開燈，唔係開。唔係你，唔係你頭先。唔係，有太有太。黐線啦，冇教你，一定唔可以教。你唱啊，你唱，你唱啊，你唱啊！海底見，你快唱。勇氣，沉默，你真。开波啊！我做 blessing 嘅声，好清唱。Six 嘅同學加油啊！一齊入 U， 耶 ！Set 咗喎，你走先，唔該。Set 咗喎，點睇啊？點睇？